everyone, I'm Catherine Decina Sapelin and welcome to Book Dissect, where I take the best and worst of books to help you be a better writer. This week I'm dissecting The Ascent of Man by J. Bronswinski. It's this name. This is one of the books that I got from my book haul. If you want to watch that video, the link will be somewhere up here. Which makes this video sponsored by my bibliothèque in Ypres. Oh guys. According to the back, it was so well received that this got turned into a BBC TV series. I like the science of evolution when it comes to man. So much so, I even watched this documentary series in French when I wasn't even good at French because I like the subject matter. But I really didn't like this book. I think this is a good example of how the way that you write will bring your readers in or push your readers out. I would get this book just so that you can see does it bring you in maybe and if so figure out why because for me I I wanted to take it and just hit people upside the head with it because it was making me mad. So my number one pet peeve with this book was the religion. I know that this book was written in 1973. That's a different time than now because I think science and religion sort of have this separation. Some people like to bring them together and they make things like the Creation Museum, but the whole religion aspect started in the beginning of the book and it was so difficult for me to even continue reading because I thought, this is going to be stupid. Ugh. This book has so many freaking adverbs and the adverbs don't add anything to the story. Really, 99% of the time, anytime you use an adverb, you could be using a better, stronger verb or a completely different tense. And in the case of this book, that's what it is. He used adverbs like certainly, surely, very, and merely a lot. The majority of the cases, he could have got rid of those adverbs and just used the conditional tense. He talks a lot about the life of the different evolution cycles of man and what their life would be like. I think to say that it was speculation and not 100% concrete fact, he added these adverbs. The problem with that is that this is a nonfiction book. I'm not going to be judging it the same way as I would a fiction book because I expect to be given sort of a story and a plot when it comes to a fiction book, but when it comes to a nonfiction book, I expect to learn something. I don't expect for somebody to give me a story of what they think might happen. I just want the facts. Like, that's that's the purpose of nonfiction books. They, they help you learn. I don't understand why those were left in there because the whole time I was reading this, it reminded me a lot of Raptor Red. I know that Raptor Red is a speculation of the life of what a raptor might have been like. I think if this had been marketed as a fiction book, even though it is in the realm of nonfiction, it might have been more interesting because, for example, in the case of Raptor Red, that's a fiction book, but it's based in reality. It's a fiction book because Raptor Red, the character of the story, like didn't exist. It's a made up character based on a situation that probably could have happened. And I feel like Raptor Red, which is a fiction book, felt more real and I learned so much more than this book, which is a non-fiction book, which just seemed like it was a bunch of BS. And I don't like to have reviews where it's just poo 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 poo, but um, yeah, there was really nothing that I enjoyed about the book. Aside from the fact that I learned a bunch of things that I don't want to do in my own writing, so that's something I enjoyed. It was a learning experience, so even bad books can be helpful to you. I guess that's the point of this, this, this video. That's what I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. The algorithm doesn't care. If you'd like to support this channel, then be sure to share this video with your friends, families, and strangers on the internet, and I will love you forever. All my social links have been left in the description below. For your convenience, you can stalk me on Twitter, Facebook, and I keep a blog where I keep the conversation going. Check it out, and I will see you guys in the next one. Toot zines, my apple zines. Let's have some tea before we begin. It's really warm today, which means I'm drinking hot tea because that's what you should do when you're hot. Likewise, in the winter time, 
when you're cold, you should eat ice cream. And you know, if you want to share in the comments below if you agree or disagree, I'd love to hear back from you all. Bis on tête.